So today, Governor Greg Abbott made the comment that pregnant folks in Texas have at least six weeks to uh, terminate their pregnancy or get an abortion if they need to. So I just want to talk about why that is absolutely false. And Greg Abbott is not a healthcare provider and should not be making healthcare decisions for the citizens of Texas or for anyone other than himself. So in a perfect cycle, which is not a very common thing that we encounter, the menstrual cycle is a 28 day cycle. The first day of bleeding is day one of the cycle and the most common time to ovulate is at about day 14 of the cycle and then you get to day 28 which is where the cycle ends and then we have our next period at day one if we're not pregnant if we are pregnant then that period doesn't come down so conception generally occurs around ovulation most pregnancy tests will not become accurate until maybe one week before that missed period so that would be about the halfway point between days 14 and days 28 and then we get to that next period um, and by dating the pregnancy from the first day of the last period we're already at four weeks into this pregnancy so by the time someone misses their period they are four weeks pregnant. They would only know that they're pregnant if they were um, extremely in tune with their body, have an extremely regular cycle, and um, are looking for it, right? So many, many people are not sitting at home doing pregnancy test after pregnancy test after pregnancy test. And all of that being said, that is a perfect cycle. That is the textbook thing that we learn. That is not the reality. Many people with uteruses have irregular cycles where they get a period once a month and then they skip a month and then they have one and they skip two months. Um, some people, I have had patients who've gone for a year without having their period. I've had patients who will get two in one month and then go for six months without a period. So many, many, many people do not realize that they are pregnant at four weeks into a pregnancy. So let's be realistic here. People have approximately one week or less to have an abortion in Texas in a perfect world if they know everything about their body, they have a 100% completely perfect menstrual cycle that they're aware of and in tune with. It is mind boggling to me that Greg Abbott says Obviously, people have time to have an abortion. Obviously, they have at least six weeks. No, Greg Abbott, no, they do not. What you are doing is causing people to travel out of state, pay higher expenses for their abortions, seek abortions in ways that may not be on the up and up. You're not going to reduce abortion. You're only going to push people to get more creative with how they access their abortions. I do not support SB8, and I absolutely support everyone in Texas who is looking into getting advanced provision of medication abortions and who is finding their abortion one way or another.